Hey, it's Mr. Senhauser back again, this time with a video on patterns repeating shape. It's a math lesson for you guys, so pay attention. I bet you're gonna learn some pretty awesome stuff. Well, our first pattern we have involving shapes is a square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. Not too complicated, but the question is, what is the 37th shape. Now you might say to yourself, Mr. Sennhauser, do you want me to go ahead and draw this pattern out to the 37th shape? That's ridiculous. Nobody can do that. Somebody's gonna make a mistake. And you know what I'd say? You're absolutely right. So I've got my thinking cap on here. It's a little bit different this time. Let's stop and let's think. How could we figure out the 37th pattern without drawing the whole thing? Let's stop and think. Do you see anything about the pattern and the number of each shape? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's stop and think for a second. Let's look at the squares. Square, square, square. One, three, five. Hmm. What do you notice about the one, the three, and the five? That's right. They all are odds. So that means that every square has to be odd. Let's look at the triangles. Triangles are two, four, and six. What do we notice about those numbers? That's right. They are all, not a regular triangle, they are all even. Yeah, that's true. So now I have to ask the question, what's 37? Is 37 odd or even? Because if I can figure that out, then I will know what shape goes there. How am I gonna figure out if 37 is odd or even? Hmm. That's right. I look at the ones place. Seven. Is seven odd or even? That's right. It's odd. So that means that 37 has to be odd. So that means it is a square. If you got that, give yourself a pat on the back and a round of applause. Over here, we got a harder problem though. It's a little bit trickier. It's a repeating shape problem. This time, the repeating pattern is three. It is triangle, square, and what's that shape? Oh yeah, it's called, yeah, a trapezoid. Triangle, square, trapezoid. Tri so let's actually put the numbers in there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Ah! How about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I sort of like that one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's three shapes. We count by threes. So now if I go ahead and count one, four, and seven, that's sort of tricky. Because what I need to do is I need to figure out what the 49th member of the pattern is. The 49th thing. How am I gonna do that? It's pretty tricky but we can do it. What we need to do is we need to go ahead, well, let's look at, what if I count by something? Um, can, I, can I count by threes? Well, let's see here. I, I can count by threes. Three, six, nine. So what do we, when we count by a number, that's called a what? Yeah, it's called a multiple, a multiple. So all the multiples of three are the trapezoid. There's only a problem. Is 49 a multiple of three? Hmm. You know how I want to figure that out? We're going to use division, okay? So let's write this down. 49 divided by three. And the way we do this, now moms and dads out there, this may be a little different, but the kids have worked on it. If they're a little rusty, it's okay. We're going to work on it some more. So we're going to write this down. Three times what? gets me close to 49. Three times what gets me close to 49? 
Hmm, three times what? Three, let's, let's try three times 10. Three times 10 is 30. That's, that's not exactly it, but we're getting closer. And that is, oh, I need to subtract next, don't I? I go to subtract and that gets me 19. Can I do that again? Three times what gets me close to 19? Hmm. What is it? That's right. Can I get exactly 19? No. But I can get close. I can say three times six. Three times six is 18. And I subtract and I get one. Hmm. Hey, wait. Uh, it's like that one is like a leftover. Do you remember what we call that? Yeah. It's called a remainder. So the answer is 49 divided by 3 is, I add those together, 16 remainder 1. Now here's the thing. Because there's a remainder, 49 is not a multiple of 3. So it can't be trapezoid. It's either going to be triangle or square. And here's the way we do it. Since the remainder is 1... That means it's going to be the first shape in the pattern. So that means the 49th member of the pattern is going to be a triangle. That was a pretty hard problem, but you know what? You did an awesome job. Hey, there's going to be some more problems to come involving patterns with shape down the road. If you're doing my math lesson in the book, that's awesome. You follow along, give it your best shot. It's a little tricky, but you know what? I know you can do it. You can, you can do it. You gotta believe in yourself and I know you can do it. Hey, I've enjoyed doing this math lesson for you. I can't wait for another one. So do your best, take care, and until we see you next time, God bless.